coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Misha Serkunov and Forrest Griffin. Well, in 2008, he defeated Quentin Rampage Jackson, become the UFC light heavyweight champion. Here is Forrest Griffin, the UFC Hall of Famer, back for more tonight. He won season one of The Ultimate Fighter back in 2005, and that is really what put the UFC on the map of fight fans around the world. Forrest Griffin has made significant contributions to MMA and looking to make another one here tonight as he makes the walk yet again. Forrest Griffin may be one of the hardest working fighters in the history of the sport. He got where he is not because of natural athleticism, but because of hard work, determination, and intelligence. Well, when we talk about sound defensive fighters, that conversation oftentimes begins with Dominic Cruz, but I'm gonna enter this guy in the discussion because he sticks and moves with the best of them, gets the head off the center line, uses footwork and movement and defense to set up his own offense, and he stays so relaxed in there, Joe, because his defense is that sound and uses that defensive movement to create offensive angles. Very, very smart, sound defensive fighter who uses that to his advantage and figures to do that again tonight. Apparently he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, and they have the same height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. From the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Canada, it's time! I am in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. It's a this match. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only professional record on. 19 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Boris And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkunov. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Well, these Canadian fans known for arriving early and leaving late, they have packed the building tonight as we get underway here at Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. That one hurt. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Good defense there. Faints with the punch. Strong straight left there. Oh! Griffin gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Good job landing that series of punches here. He connected with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far here. Left kick to the body. Oh, effective strike there by Griffin. 
Good punches. He's cut above his eye. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Look for him to set that uppercut up. Nice Superman punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch there by Griff. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. He got tagged there. He lands with the knee of the body. Oh, and he ate a front kick. Good punch. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Here's the takedown. Now he's stacking him. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Griffin. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Good work from the top here by Sirkunov. Oh, nice elbow. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Good control, postures up. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Serkunov gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those. Joe. Caught him with a punch. Huge uppercut misses. Staying busy now. A lot of these punches are landing. Gotta play better defense than they that. They are trading huge punches here. Griffin's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to pipe down on the mouthpiece and move forward. <laughs> Round two straight ahead. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Nice job out there. He's exhausted. Your ground control is unstoppable. The beautiful Jenny Andrade getting us going. All right, round two. All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe. But your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Oh, clipped him with the jazz. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Combination landed by Sirkuno. Oh! Well, how good is that jab by the Canadian Sirkuno? Those punches are very hard. Griffin's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Fainting with the punch. Griffin gets caught with that punch. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. He lands the head kick. Punch to the body is blocked. Big punch. Superman punch. And they work from the clinch again. The Canadian Sirkunov gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Half guard. Mount! Full mount! Elbow lands for him. Beautifully executed sweep. Oh, another huge elbow landed there by the Canadian Sirkunov. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Back and forth we go! 
Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, oh, clips him with a nice right hand there. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Oh! point in time. We'll see to what extent they can get the swelling down here between rounds. And there's a kick to the body. Perfectly placed strike here. Lands on target. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Oh, tagged him. He landed it again. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. He's fainting with the punch. Nice. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Back and forth we go. Very nice. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. How about that shoot? Griffin's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky, that thing is leaking bad now. Oh! He's in big trouble. Body kick, look at that. Big shots! What a wild exchange! One underhook here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Hook in the clinch there by Griffin. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, oh, big nice knee! Oh, this could be it! Oh, and he eats a shot! Straight punch gets through. So that straight punch finds the target yet. Oh, he hurt him again, he hurt him! He's in big trouble. These are some bombs he has thrown. Good body punch there. Starting to swell bad. And that'll do it. No, 15 no, minutes no. in the books. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they called the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. 
Let's look at that from another camera angle. Let's see it one more time. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. That shot blocked by Sirkunov. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Oh! Effective punch there by Griffin. Well, the offense has been there. Oh! This could be it right here. Rocked him with that right hand. And we got a fight on our hands. Hook hits home. He is getting off some huge punches here. Oh, his face is painted with blood, Joe. The oh! oh, he's out. He's, he's out. out. Now, he had been throwing and connecting with this uppercut all night long, but this one just lands picture perfect on the button for the knockout. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. All right, let's go inside the Ladies Octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. This contest at one minute, 22 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Borough. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.